Linking words is the key to speak like a native English speaker. Today, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Sorting things out isn't my thing, but I had to do it. Within an hour, I got hungry, so I went to In-N-Out to get a burger and a cup of coffee. So that sentence that I just recited had a lot of linking words. Linking words are multiple different words next to each other that you flow together to sound fluent. It is one of the most important things for English learners to be able to do to sound just like a native speaker. So I'm going to say these three sentences again, except this time I'm not going to link these words. See if you can tell the difference. Today, I got rid of a lot of stuff. Sorting things out isn't my thing, but I had to do it. Within an hour, I got hungry, so I went to in and out to get a cup of coffee. So let's go through the six most prominent linked set of words within these three sentences. So the first one is get rid of, get rid of. The second one is a lot of, a lot of. The third one is sorting things out, sorting things out. The fourth one is had to, had to. The fifth one, in and out, in and out. The sixth one, a cup of coffee, a cup of coffee. Now let's see if you can do these exercises. Just fill in the blanks. All right, so let's start with the first sentence. I just ate a whole bag of nuts. I just ate a whole bag of nuts. The second sentence. I love you forever and ever. I love you forever and ever. The third sentence. Oh no, I'm running out of gas. Oh no, I'm running out of gas. Let's see how you did. Now let's go through the answers. Number one, I just ate a whole bag of nuts. I just ate a whole bag of nuts. Number two, I love you forever and ever. I love you forever and ever. Number three, oh no, I'm running out of gas. Oh no, I'm running out of gas. Now, let's listen to the story that we started with one more time. Today, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Sorting things out isn't my thing, but I had to do it. Within an hour, I got hungry, so I went to In-N-Out to get a burger and a cup of coffee. So how were those exercises? Were they difficult or were they easy? If you had some trouble with them, then I think it's a good idea to practice linking more words so your pronunciation, your English pronunciation can increase exponentially. Well, that's it for the video, so I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day! If this lesson was helpful for you, please be sure to click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks so much! See you next time!